Welcome to Loan Sifter. This short video will walk you through creating open house flyers inside Loan Sifter 3.0. Okay, we're going to get started inside your fee templates. That's the first place. So underneath your marketing menu, you're going to go into fee templates. This is the piece where you now create all the fees that you're going to use for all of the open house flyers you create. Now, some of you may have already created fee templates. We've been using them for a while with Zillow um, as well as with Consumer Pricing Portal and today's rates, and we now also use email campaigns. So those of you that have done it, they're going to use the same templates. Um, however, if you have not, there's some videos in here that you can walk through that will explain everything about creating templates, but let me just show you real quickly. Um, You'll notice on this first page, there's several different pages you're going to walk through. The very first one in the settings, you're going to name your fee template. Um, and again, there's some features you can walk through. The real important one I walk, want to walk you into is fees. Now, this is where you're going to place all the fees you want to use in those open house flyers. So you'll notice on the left-hand side, you have broker fees. Now, these aren't necessarily just broker fees. Some of these, for instance, you know, you have appraisal fee. They're third-party or pass-through fees, um, but they're listed under the broker fee list. Is, and then you've got your lender fees over here on the right-hand side. So you're going to want to go ahead and fill these out. You're going to fill through all these pages. They're going to help you figure out exactly how you want to price each one of these deals. That's the first piece we're going to get you started on. Now we're going to move into your marketing materials. So click on marketing materials. In the future, we will have additional marketing pieces that are in here. Right now, all we have is open house flyers. So that's why it's still listed as marketing materials and not open house flyers. First thing I'm going to walk you through is creating your own profile. So if you click profile, it's going to open up a window here that's going to ask you a little bit of information about you. So this is information that you would want it to list about you on that open house flyer. Um, anything you don't want on, for example, if you don't want your email, don't put it in. Um, you can also, you notice in here, you can upload your logo as well as your portrait. So you can put both in here. Then you can update your profile. Another thing you can do is you can update your partner information. So any realtors that you're possibly working with, let's see, I added one in here. Um, you can go ahead and add very similar information. Looks exactly the same as the last page. Add in all of your realtor partner's information. Again, you can not only upload the logo, but the portrait as well. You can even put in some comments here that you might want to read yourself. It does note right here, these comments will not appear in the flyer. But if you want to make any notes to yourself about that partner, you can put that in there. So you can add as many partners as you'd like. But now that we've got that set, we're going to go to create a report. Now you've got a few options here. You can copy a report, create a new report, or edit a report. The reason we've done this is we know that a lot of other systems out there creating open house flyers do not really allow you to edit or copy one you've already created. But we recognize many of your open house flyers, you probably want to look very similar. So why start from scratch every time? So you can definitely start from scratch, but what you're probably going to do more often is copy a report. So when you click on copy, it's going to give you a list of any that you've already created. You can go ahead and select one, um, copy that report, and it's going to go ahead and copy every piece about it. And then you can go in and re and write over it. So, for example, this particular one was for Strathmore Drive. You may want to go in and change that to whatever it is you'd like it to be. So we'll make this one Elm Drive. Um, you're going to go ahead and select your report type. Again, right now, Open House Flyers are the only report type we have. First thing you're going to do in your, in your layout is select your partner. Now, if you're using a new partner from here, you can also go up right up here to the right and click on partner, add a new partner here, just like on that last page I showed you. But once you select your partner, they'll show up right here to the right. Um, now, you'll notice there's a couple different layouts. Let me scroll down and show you what these layouts look like. So here's one of them. This is called the plain layout. We also have one called a simple layout. Looks a little bit different. Not much different, but just an example here. Now you have the ability to change the color schemes on here. This example over here that we list is not a dynamic example, meaning as you make changes in here, it is not changing it down here. So for example, you'll notice this list price is $45 million and $1. Um, that doesn't match the list price up here. So it's not changing it. It's just giving you an example of what that layout looks like. So if you want to change the color, be aware that the color it lists right now, so this says orange, will be this orange spot. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it, select whatever color I'd like to use. You can even customize here to get the exact tone of the color. It's changing it to green. However, down here it still shows as orange. So I just want to point that out. It will change it in the layout when you finally render the layout. However, right here it's still showing you that. So you can go ahead and do a few more things. You can change. You've got a couple font choices you can choose 
from. Of course, add in your list price, add in your property tax. You can put in either the annual or the monthly. It will calculate one or the other for you. Obviously, you're going to put in your property address. So again, we're going to act like this is a new one. So we'll put in our Elm Street. Um, now you have the ability to place in some amenities in here. You'll notice up here this is a two column list of amenities over here. We have three listed, so this will list in three columns. If you just want it to be in one, you can create it all in one column. You really have the ability to update that. Um, and the body of the message right here, this will show up in this paragraph down here. Sorry, I can't highlight it. But this paragraph down here is what will be in that body of the message. You also can put in any disclaimer or footer. You can also upload any property image that you'd like. So this image right here will be updated with any image you add in here. Now you do have the ability to share these with anyone in your company or anyone in your branch. So if you've created a template that other people would like to use, you can do that. You can just share it with them. It will then become one of the templates in their accounts. So just want to point that out. Um, once we've created our layout, we're going to move on to scenarios. So let me show you that. Okay, so here we are. We've got two different lists here of scenarios you'll notice. On the left hand side, these are scenarios we've added to this particular report. You'll notice everything about this report is on the left. On the right hand side, however, we list any scenarios available that you may want to add into your report. Now I'll show you later how you can push scenarios over here, but the other way you can do it is you can create a brand new scenario right here, a new manual scenario. So you'll notice it'll open up this field, you can create your scenario right from here. Now you have the ability to edit any scenario you'd like. If you click on this button, it'll open it up for you again and allow you to make any edits you'd like. This little plus sign, once you click on this, it will immediately move it over to the list. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this, it's gonna move it under here. So maybe I created one for this Rexford Drive, but I want to use the same one over here. And of course, you can easily delete it if you decide you don't want that one in that report anyway. So you can do that. Now, the one really great feature we have here is the ability to update pricing. Now, you'll notice this is updated as of June 3rd. Today, I'm recording this video on June 3rd. So updating this isn't going to change anything. But once you select this, you'll notice it's, it's rechecking it. it. takes a few seconds. It's going to update to current pricing. What this means is that, as we all know, when you create an open house flyer and you have an open house, doesn't mean the house is going to sell on the first day. So next week, your realtor may very well want another version because you don't want last week's pricing. So all you need to do is come in here, edit your report, edit the one you've already created, come in here, update all the pricing, and then you can generate a new report with the new pricing. So just want to point that out. Okay, you'll notice down here there's a little note that says note to enable generate report. You must save this report and also update your fees by going into edit fees. So you'll notice here's where you save, here's where you edit your fees. You'll notice generate report is not underlined. I can't it's not enabled right now. So the next thing we need to do is go to our edit fees. So I'm going to click on that. This is going to show you how the fees show up inside the report. Now it's listing out the scenarios as we had them in order there. I apologize, I didn't show you how to change that. Let me go back one second. Um, inside here, one last thing. If you click on these little tabs over here to the right, you can change the order of these around. So I just want to point that out so you can get them in the exact order that you want. Okay, let me go back into these edit fees. Sorry about that. So they're going to show up in the order that you just placed them in um, side to side. 